I saw another comment about randomizer mode. Uh, it just wouldn't work at this point in time in the game. There's not enough stuff to make it interesting. Yeah, so. probably need more uh, story, you know, more places yeah. yeah. to explore. Yeah, I think we get that question every stream. I think it's better off to be like a post-game game modes. Yeah, yeah post-game. Okay. Randomizers can be fun, but we need a lot more before it's... Yeah, there's not enough content to make it worth playing it. I love... I love doing Nuzlocke on randomizers. Yeah, yeah. Nuzlocke. It'd be cool if we had like a Nuzlocke game mode, a randomizer game mode, and maybe like a randomize and a Nuzlocke, like you can choose so many different yeah. options. But again, that's like, we haven't even talked about it because that's just not feasible right now. It's yeah. just not worth mentioning it. Things with like Nuzlocke, for example, is there's a lot of like different rule sets that people follow. So we would have to like try to figure out how to best implement something like that. So that's also a big technical undertaking too just to make sure that it would be something that everyone would be happy with so eh, a lot of these alternative game modes will just have to wait on the shelf for now but yeah i think for like a, a nuzlocke sort of thing because since everyone does so many different rules like we could just yeah. go like oh we could just introduce our own rules but that could be boring for some players because if we make it too easy like the really hardcore players just might not be interested it would be cool if we do something yeah. like that where we can like give different a list of like different settings to make it more difficult like oh you can't over level past the battle the next battle theater's level yeah. cap but that yeah, would take some like toggleable rule sets or something would be okay. interesting 